Leave it 51, turn right, heading 183. It's been a busy month for the aviation industry in Russia, with countless aircraft being repossessed and, in addition, leases expiring, contractual difficulties, and more as the country has become isolated by much of the world. Rather than focusing on every single development, I did just want to stick with one intriguing one that's taken place in the past 24 to 48 hours involving a Boeing 7478 freighter with Russia's Airbridge cargo. The aircraft was flown to California in the United States of America following a judge in the country approving an order by BOC Aviation to reclaim the aircraft. Who is BOC Aviation, or Bok Aviation if you will? Well, they're a company that does own the 747-AF in question that was acquired on a lease by Airbridge Cargo. BOC Aviation, more generally though, is a global aircraft leasing company and is the largest in Asia. Its aircraft can be found worldwide as airlines sign deals to acquire any aircraft, say, through a lease, a very, very popular method nowadays of acquiring aircraft over, say, purchasing it directly from the aircraft manufacturer, whether that be Airbus, Boeing, Embraer and or more. BOC says this 747-AF is worth some US $148 million and was flown in the past week through the United States. It had essentially been returned to BOC Aviation and seized from Airbridge Cargo. The aircraft will now be placed in storage. However, it is not the only aircraft that is part of the BOC aviation portfolio that could also be destined for a similar fate, as they note that 18 planes have been leased to airlines within Russia, valued at close to USD 1 billion. However, the general worry is that the worth of these aircraft may drop with time unless they can get the type back. So, why has this 747-8 specifically been seized? It may seem a little bit weird that it's just been the one aircraft at the moment, and why are other aircraft now at risk of having the same fate with BOC Aviation? BOC Aviation essentially claims that the Dash 8F in question that, of course, has been flown back to the United States did break the rules with the airline flying it to Russia. However, this was after it was explicitly requested that this did not occur. Why is this such a big deal, you may ask? They just went against, say, what BOC Aviation wanted. Well, actually, insurance was no longer covering these flights, and it was against the word of BOC Aviation and more that the flight to Russia did take place. In recent months, the Russian aviation industry has undoubtedly been under heavy scrutiny and spotlight. While this 7478 does return to the United States, hundreds of aircraft on leases are stuck in Russia. And with airlines that are based there searching for ways to keep flying against the word of lessers, regulators and more. It's only been a recipe for disaster. And I'm sure if you've been browsing social media or reading some aviation articles, you'll definitely be getting a great insight into just what has been taking place over there. However, for today, the focus was on that 747-8F with Russia's Airbridge cargo. If you have any thoughts, do let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Do take care and be safe, and I will see you next time.